Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm on the street, and today I heard someone in the comments saying that they actually preferred Windows to Linux, which is fine. I thought I would go ahead and upload a few videos about Windows. So this is the first one. Uh, I'm going to be showing you about a tool called Nanit. N-I-N-I-T-E is how that is spelled. And basically, Nanit allows you to install programs and keep them updated without having to run through individual program installers. You basically go to a website, check whatever programs you want to install, and it'll download an installer that you can just run, like I said, the first time you run it, it installs all the programs, and then if you run it in the future, it actually checks for updates and updates any programs that need updating. You might already know about this, obviously, if you already know about it. Don't downvote and comment that I already knew about it. Just X out. Why are you watching a video about Nanit if you already know about Nanit? Um, so yeah, the tool is called Nanit. Um, that's how I pronounce it. It's N-I-N-I-T-E. And let me just show you what it does real quick. Right now, if I launch it, you'll see it'll come up with user account control. Now, it, it, it just went right through because I've already run this. But basically, what Nanit does is it allows you to install lots of programs without having to to run the installers for the programs. Like, you know, normally you download a program, you have to click next a couple times. You might uncheck a couple toolbars that it's trying to get you to install, or other bloatware. Um, yeah, and Nanit basically takes care of all of that for you. So this is really cool. Now, this is completely free for the version I'll be showing you about. Um, if we go to nanit.com, then, and I guess I'll put that link in the description, as you can see, they recently redid, not recently, but like, uh, like a year ago, they redid how this was set up. This used to be set up with bigger buttons, but uh, as you can see, the uh, buttons will resize to your, your screen, which doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Anyway, um, look here. We've got all sorts of different categories, web browsers, messaging, media, runtimes, imaging, documents, security, file sharing, online storage, other, utilities, compression, developer tools. So you can just go through and check what you want. Like, I want Chrome, I want Skype. I want iTunes, I want VLC, and I want the k -like Codec Pack, and Audacity, um, and I want Java, and .NET, and Silverlight. You can, you can take care of, you know, Java, .NET, Silverlight, um, Adobe Air, Shockwave, and Adobe Reader. You can take care of all of your, your online plugins right through here, except for Flash, I just realized now, but, you know, Flash crumbs with Chrome. Anyway, so just use Chrome or Chromium if you want Flash. Um, you got with uTorrent used to be on here, but now Qubit Torrent is on here. Um, we got Microsoft Security Essentials. If you're on like an older version of Windows that doesn't that doesn't come with that, um, you you got the GIMP, which is basically open source or freeware version of Photoshop. We got Inkscape, which is open source version of Illustrator. And I, I use both of these. I like Inkscape more. It's vector graphics. GIMP is raster graphics. Uh, you got your Dropbox, your Google Drive, your SkyDrive, if you're on an older version of Windows once again. Google Earth is on here. Steam is on here. Um, you know, you've got, like, if you're on Windows 8, classic start menu, you can install just right there. Uh, let's say we want 7-Zip. Uh, WinRAR is also on here, although that's a free trial. And so it's like, Office is on here, but that's a free trial. But you can get OpenOffice or LibreOffice, either one. I know I say LibreOffice wrong. Um, but yeah, you can get OpenOffice or um, the newer one, uh, whichever you prefer. OpenOffice really isn't bad anymore because Apache manages it now. Uh, but yeah, we've got like FileZilla, which is an FTP client. I use that. Notepad++, I love that. Uh, Java Development Kit, Eclipse, you know, just Python, any anything you want, real VNC, like you, know, you can just go through and look at all how, how all these programs. That was basically oh, I'm not listing off every program. I just listed off about half of them. But I'm just showing you, it's not just one kind of of thing. It's like a whole lot of different types of programs that they have. So then all you do is you click Get Installer, and then it will download. An installer with all of the programs as you can see so yeah then you just what you do is you run the installer and like I said I've already got an neat installer that I'm using and what's really cool is if you run it once it installs the program uh, if you run it again it will then update your apps for you 
Um, so I ran this a little bit earlier in the week, and it updated Chrome, it updated Adobe Air, and Adobe Reader, and like Qubit Torrent, it updated. So yeah, you know, you 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 probably use CCleaner or something. Should I show you about CCleaner, or do you already know about that? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, you might use CCleaner or something similar to stop apps from updating in the background because that slows your computer down. Well, in the neat, you can then go back and update apps manually, which is exactly what you want to do. So, just to show you like how this works, I don't think I do have Audacity yet, but that is something that I actually use. Um, yeah, I already have Audacity, sorry. Let's say I wanted to install, let's see, do I have Google Earth? Google Earth. No, I don't have Google Earth yet, so I kind of want Google Earth. So, I'll, you can use this for just one program, too. So, if there's a program you want, but you don't have to, don't have to wait for the installer to run, even for just one program, it saves you time. So I just check Google Earth, click Get Installer, and that will download. All I do is open the installer, user account control, and then you'll see it just downloading Google Earth. And then I'll run and run. Installing Google Earth. And I find that Nanit actually does not make you restart your computer, even though a lot of the programs that it installs do make you restart your computer. But as you can see, finished and it just has the status OK uh, and now Google Earth um, so yeah I'm going to X out of that before YouTube flags me uh, but yeah that is Nanit it's a really cool tool um, like I said the, the it's mainly for Windows because Windows is mainly the only thing that really needs this um, there are some pro versions available that like notify you when there's updates available or like that let you do stuff offline because this does require internet obviously to you know go to the website and download the installer for um, there is a a Linux version of this in the works now Linux usually comes with package managers so the Linux version is only for Ubuntu um, or only for .deb based things and as you can see it's a very very limited selection of uh, programs so yeah uh, this is really about windows here um, so yeah if you use windows then i hope if you did not already know about this you will find it useful let me know like i said down in the comment section below maybe i'll tell you about ccleaner even though i feel like that one more people know about uh, but yeah Nanit is a great tool to use for installing uh... programs and keeping them updated Hope you enjoyed that. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm running the streets, and I will see you later. See ya.